Good day. I want to give you an update on Swedish politics. There is a, an election in September and you have heard some strange stories about Sweden. I want to tell you about the Swedish citizens, what's going on in their minds. And this is my estimate, 60, at least 60%, maybe even 70% of the Swedes are today nationalists. And you can tell this by watching the politicians. What are they doing right now, before the election? We have three major parties. First, there is the Sweden Democrats, the basic nationalist party. And they had the balls to talk about these problems long before anyone dared to speak up. So they deserve all the votes they can get, and I will certainly vote for them. Then you have the moderate party. This is the party who opened the borders of Sweden. They talked about tolerance, open borders, open hearts. Right? And they have totally picked a new direction. They were going this way, now they're going this way, you see. And uh, they are growing tremendously right now in the polls. And there are two main reasons. First of all, they picked a new chairman and they elected a guy this time. Per my recommendations, by the way. And from the day he was chosen, they have been growing. But the main reason they are growing is that they say the stuff that the Swedes want to hear. They have found this key, see this key, to the hearts of the Swedes. They talk about uh, being tough. They talk about getting people out of the country. Yes, they talk about regulating immigration. They talk, basically, they don't talk about anything else. And the more they talk about it, the more they grow. So they found this key, right? And it's their key now, you see? So they will end up being the biggest party in Sweden in the next election. There's no doubt. And then you have the socialists. They don't know what to do. Now they have been pathetic in government. They are still in government. And they have been so fucking stupid, you can't believe it. So they don't know what to do. They want to be in power, right? So now, lately, they have become tough. Yeah. <laughs> well, they try to be. And unfortunately, some will buy this. Yeah. So, but don't, don't vote for them, please. Please, don't do it. And don't vote for the moderates. The moderates will get a lot of votes, I'm sure, but they don't deserve these votes. They don't. They betrayed Sweden. Yeah. Vote for the Sweden Democrats. Okay. So, but this is my prediction, okay? This moderate party will end up being the biggest party. They will probably get 30, 35 percent. Right. And then you have the Sweden Democrats. Uh, in the polls, they are not doing too well. They are doing much better than the last election. But uh, these polls, these institutes, first of all, they never ever predicted the Sweden Democrats' results correctly. And they, they are guessing, yeah. Or they are corrupt. Or both. So my prediction is, the moderates, 35%. The Sweden Democrats, 25%. And the socialists will get 20, I think. This is way too much. But uh, people are afraid. They want the socialists to protect, protect the welfare system. People depend on the socialists for the benefits, you see. So a lot of people vote for them still. This is sad, but that's the truth. And then you have the Liberal Party and the Centre Party. 
both of them are saying we will never ever cooperate or be depending on the nationalist body and they might think this is a good thing to say but this is of course a mistake people don't buy this anymore and they will be going down the, the center party uh, are have been doing well lately but then they stopped and they started to go down again and the liberals are just struggling and then of course you have the green party and the communists the green party i hope i don't think they will but i hope they will be they will be kicked out of the parliament but as i said i don't think so and the communists i don't give a fuck really no uh, okay I have to tell you this, there is a new trend in Sweden. You see people coming out of the walls, speaking up, and they want to talk about the problems of the no-go zones, and they want to talk about the problems of mass immigration. It's popular to talk about this. It's almost like the new PC. Right. Be good. Bye.